Hello friends, I am Mrs. Gita Dunjarwad, Assistant Professor of Communication Skills, Department of Humanities and Sciences, Walshan Institute of Technology, Sholapur. Today in this session, I am going to discuss about the principal functions of English nouns, learning outcome. At the end of this session, student will be able to understand different functions of noun that can perform when they occur in sentences. Few words. All parts of speech in English grammar are the building blocks of sentences. It is impossible to write grammatically correct sentence without knowing at least some of them. Knowing all parts of speech can help advance your writing skills and prevent them from plateauing. As an engineer, being able to use proper grammar is an important part of communicating clearly and effectively. While communicating, it is must to understand that every word in a sentence has a specific function and if we recognize those functions, we write and speak like a professional. So, in this session we are discussing about the functions of nouns. So, nouns. Nouns play the role of other parts of speech depending on how they are used in a given sentence. It is for this reason that it becomes very imperative to find a very easy way to identify whether a word is a noun or not. In order to be able to easily identify a noun, we need to know the features of nouns and how they behave or function. So let us first discuss about this question. What is the function of a noun in English grammar? Take a pause, think about this question and try to give the answer. So the role of noun. When we speak of the functions of nouns, we simply mean the different functions that nouns can serve while appearing in sentences. Linguistically, a noun is a member of a large open part of speech whose members can occur as the main word in the subject of a clause the object of a verb or the object of a preposition. In a sentence, nouns can play the role of subject, direct object, indirect object, subject complement, object complement, appositive or adjective. So let us see the first function of a noun, noun as a subject. A noun functions as a subject of a verb when it appears before the main verb of the sentence or statement. Here the noun normally appears at the front position of the sentence or statement and the main verb in the sentence will come after Nouns can serve as subjects when they answer the questions like who or what is doing the action or who or what is being the state of being. See the examples, John kicked the ball or the second sentence, the sky seemed hazy. So, in first sentence, kicked is the verb. John tells 
who or what kicked the ball. Therefore, John, which is the doer of the action, is the subject of the sentence. In the second sentence, seemed a verb of being is the verb. Sky tells who or what was being has he. Sky is the subject of the sentence. The subject usually comes before the verb. The second function, noun as an object of a verb. A noun functions as an object of a verb when it comes after the main verb in a sentence and is the recipient of the action of the verb. Nouns can be either direct objects of verbs or indirect objects of verbs. So, direct object of a verb. Here, the noun directly receives the action from the verb. Any noun that is the direct recipient of the action expressed by a verb is said to be functioning as a direct object of the verb. A noun can function as a direct object in a sentence when it answers the question whom or what is receiving the action of the verb. And the example is John kicked the ball. Again, I have take, taken this example. So, in this sentence, John kicked the ball. The noun John is the subject. He is the doer of the action. The verb kicked is the action that John performed. Then indirect object of a verb. Noun is also functioning as an indirect object of a verb. So, here the noun does not directly receive the action expressed by the verb but receives the direct object. An indirect object is a person or thing to whom or for which something is done. As with the receiver of the direct object which is directly the receiver of the action and an indirect object receives the action of the verb indirectly. See the example. Jane supplied him some goods. So, Jane supplied what? The answer is some goods. So, goods is the direct object. To whom or what or for whom or what did Jane supply the goods? So, the answer is him. So, here him is the indirect object. Noun functioning as a complement of a verb. Noun functions as a complement of a verb when it comes after an inactive verb and does not receive any action from the verb. Nouns can function as subject complements usually when they follow a verb of being and answer the question who or the question what. The example, the lady is an engineer. The word engineer which follows the linking verb is, is the subject complement. In the sentence above, the verb is, is a verb of being. So, here the word engineer is the subject complement and is, is a verb of being. It functions to rename or describe the subject. It also completes the meaning of the subject as lady in the sentence. 
So, the lady is the subject and engineer is the subject complement. Object of a preposition. When a noun functions as an object of a preposition, it comes just after a preposition. Any noun that comes after a preposition is said to function as an object of that preposition. So, prepositional phrases are groups of words beginning with a preposition or generally ending with a noun. An example from the beginning of the term, Gretchen was certain she would make good grades. So, beginning is the object of preposition from. And term is the object of preposition of. So, noun functioning as an appositive or opposition to another noun. A noun can function in a opposition to another noun when it appears next to another noun in order to explain or rename a noun, it moves with. The appositive enhances our understanding of the original noun. An appositive noun must follow another noun and rename that noun. Comma usually sets off an appositive noun with its modifiers from the rest of the sentence. And the example is meet my new classmate James. So, James is a noun immediately following and remaining the noun classmate. It explains who the classmate is. So, nouns are important because they are usually the most important part of vocabulary. Without nouns, you will be left with verbs, adjective and adverbs. The lack of nouns will eradicate any subject or object from your sentence which is as good as communication essentially nothing. So, this is the reference, this is the link I have used to complete my PPT. Go through this reference. Thank you.